In this tutorial, I'm going to show you some more examples of how to pull out text from a cell in Excel. So for instance, here I'm going to show you how to get first, last, and middle names out of one cell and separate them into three cells. And I'm going to show you how to do it so that it does not matter what the length of the text is. Because obviously, you have different names, it's going to be different lengths. So I'm going to show you how to do that here and I'm going to be using the left and the right functions and then also the len and the find functions. Now I already have very simple tutorials explaining how to use the basic left, right, and mid functions so I'm not going to do that here. So let's begin with the first one. I want to show you how to get if you have a first and a last name pull out the first name and then pull out the last name where it doesn't matter what the length of the name is. So what we're going to do first is enter our formula in the cell and we're going to use the left function and then also the find. Now I'm going to explain what the find is here. You should know what the left is already. Find is simply equals find open parentheses and type in whatever you want here. Since we have a space between the first and the last name we need to put a space in the find text area. So all you do is quotation mark space, end quotation mark, comma, find it within this cell, and then close the parentheses and hit enter. So what that tells me here, it returns five, and it tells me that the space is the fifth character in from the left. And you're going to use this number here to make sure that you can get a first name and a last name without having to worry about the length of the names. So if we combine this with the left function, it's going to be equals left open parentheses the cell where you want to pull the text from, comma, and then the number of characters that you want. And so what you're going to do here is the find. So find open parentheses, we want to find the space, so quotation mark, space, quotation mark, comma, we want to find it within this cell. and so then we can close the parentheses but however we don't want to include the space in our result so if we just do find space in A7 as you see it's going to return 5 like it did down here so we don't want the space to be included and you'll see why that matters if names are separated by commas so to make that a 4 after you type in your find and the close parentheses simply do minus one and then close parentheses enter and it's going to pull in John so this is what it looks like it's very easy to pull in the left or the first name that whatever's on the left so left function with the cell and then just use a simple find function to find the space and minus one so that you do not include that space in the result it's a little confusing, but I'm going to do a bunch of examples, so hopefully it'll be clear by the end. Now, if I want to get the last name out of here, we're going to have to use the find and the len function. And if you watched part one of this, you'll know what the len function is, but you may not. So all the len function does is count. Count how many characters are in a cell. So equals len, open parentheses, select a cell, enter. So what it tells me is that there are 10 characters in this cell. And now, to get the last name, I have to minus the characters, including the space in the beginning, from all of the characters. So in other words, I'm going to use the find, which will return 5, and the len, which will return 10. When I subtract the two, I'm going to get 5. And that tells me that Smith is 5 characters long and that tells the write function to only pull in the last five characters. So if I put that together, equal write open parentheses, I want this cell to get the text, comma, now I need to tell the write function how, you know, how many characters the last name is. So we do that with the len open parentheses, this cell, 
close parentheses. So that's telling me how many characters that are in the cell. And I want to minus it by everything in front of the last name. So everything up to the space. So I minus, find, open parentheses. I want to find the space again. I want to find this within this cell. And then I want to close my parentheses and close them again. Hit enter and it pulls in Smith. Now it's very important I did not use the minus one after the find here because I want to include the space in the calculation. All this lin minus find is going to do is return five. So it's the exact same thing as doing equals right this cell comma five. Exact same result. Now if I add anything here, say Johnson Smith whatever notice that these change so you got Smithson but then the one that you manually entered doesn't update so that's why you want to use the more complicated formulas now that's the basics of it so let's go down to John Robert Smith the to get the John and to get the Smith is pretty much going to be the same but a little bit more complicated so for the first name we can just copy this down here and it's going to work but the middle name and the last name are what's going to give us trouble so if I copy this formula here down here you notice it gives Robert Smith so we have to account for this now the easiest way to start is to get the middle name. So I've got the first name here and I want to get the middle name here and the last name here. All we're going to be using here is the mid function with a bunch of find functions. So let's go ahead and begin with equals mid open parentheses. We want to use this cell comma now the start number that's going to be pretty easy to get because we only want it to start right here after the space. So all you have to do is find open parentheses quote space end quote comma within this text close parentheses and now a plus one. If you leave the plus one off the find is only going to find up to the space and it's going to include an extra space but we don't want that we want it to start counting after the space so one character after plus one now comma we need to find the number of characters 